the Centered Student, Student Classroom. classroom. Ayan. Yeah. First Student time Centered to, Classroom. Or Student Centered Classroom. First time to sa... First time ito sa aking pandinig, partner. Parang nung panahon natin, wala pa ata ito. <laughs> ah, syempre, kasama natin ngayong umaga po ang uh, special education teacher, yes. si Teacher Amos. Yes. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, At batingin mo yung mga estudyante mo na nanonood sa iyo ngayon. Good morning po sa inyo lahat. Ayan. Ayan. Okay, partner, ako na to. Ikaw na yan. <laughs> Sige, partner. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> ano ba? <laughs> Student-centered classroom. Ayan. Kasama yes. po natin. Yun. Oh, yun na. <laughs> yes. The student-centered classroom. No? Ganito, um, Jenny, no? mm -hmm. we have now departed from the traditional view that te the teachers are inside the classroom only to teach and the students have no choice to learn. Uh, but, but to learn what the teacher says, isn't it? So, according to the United Nations Decade of Education for Sustainable Development or the DESD, pinapromote na ngayon ang diversity ng learners. Yung iba't ibang klase ng pagkatututo at uh, kailangan ina-address ng teacher yung, let's say, yung visual learner, yung learner na natututo more by language or by hearing. So, ang, ang ano ngayon, ang pinapromote ngayon ay ang isang student-centered classroom. Now, the student-centered classroom, physically, it's not different from the regular classroom. However, yes, yes, okay. pareho lang naman. However, there are three factors that we look into. And what are the three if factors? We are going to promote it. Okay. First, um, Tatian. Una is the environment. Uh -huh. Second is the activity. Okay. And third is the teacher. So I can explain it. Uh, each here. Environment okay. first. Yes. Yes. But before we go, that yes. part of me, tanong ako. Kasi parang, um, please enlighten me. Mm -mm. Ang when you say Yung parang yung dinidescribe niyo po, so parang, parang pro progressive ang dating, whereas compared sa traditional school. Yes, pretty much it's progressive. So how is it different from yung progressive uh, learning to, mm -hmm. to this Actually, one? Actually, a lot of progressive methods, methods? subscribe to the student-centered classroom. Ah, so parang yun yung ano, un under the student... Yes, so it's like an overarching okay. idea. There you go. And um, all... Not actually, hindi lang progressive schools ang dapat na mm -hmm. promote ng ganito, kundi basically all schools. Mm -hmm. Dahil we will be able to see the benefit of how the learner maximizes the learning experience inside the classroom. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. um, for the first factor, no, like mm -hmm. the environment. environment of course, yes. sabi nila may tinatawag na prepared or planned environment, mm -hmm. which means that first, uh, this, the, the, the classroom is conducive for learning. Hindi lang yan makikita dun sa mga... Though important yun yung mga walls, dapat malinis, maayos. Mm -hmm. uh, sabi nga nila may mga kulay pa daw na pwedeng gamitin, like mint green para makapromote ng, oh, ng good listening. Unlike uh -oh. before, mm -hmm. na cream or earth colors. Yes, na. oo. Uh, also, meron tayo tinatawag na positively stated rules. Mm -hmm. For example, no, we were all used to the, to the word no. Mm -hmm. No standing, no talking, no, di ba, lahat. So that's din discourage yun. Yes, but if it's positively stated, we can say that, raise your hand if you wish to speak. Yes. Di ba? So, naging mm -hmm. positive siya. Mm -hmm. It's actually called positive scripting. Yes. Um, so, And what um, about yun pag yes. keep quiet, o di, lahat na lang? Yes, actually. S start talking when you're called or Yes, something. Oh. it's like they have to raise their hand, which is the parliamentary procedure, di ba? So, if the teacher is able to shift into this kind of perspective, then it will be more conducive, hindi lang puro bawal. Kung hindi, alam nila ko ano yung mga limitations at yung mga capacity sila, o yung mga pwede nilang gawin sa loob ng classroom. So they can express themselves, parang Correct. ganon. Just like uh, okay. your previous topics. Express no? themselves. <laughs> <It's> Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, if, if I yes. may just add, no, um, napat natutunan actually namin ni partner Jackie ju during one training, partners, mm -hmm. kaso lang hindi ka nakasama, na when you say no, nagsha-shut down daw yung right brain mo. Eh, yung right brain mo is andun yung creativity and yes. all those things. So you avoid saying no or discouraging people kasi para nagsha-shut Talaga? Yes, yung it becomes right very limiting. Oh. Yung idea of saying no. So, nagpa-follow din dyan, no? Na instead of saying no, don't stand, don't talk, you say it in a different way, which is more positive and more encouraging. Correct. Okay. Yes. So, paano mo yes. sasabihin yun? Kung halimbawa, gusto mo sabihin no? Um, 
if you want, you say, don't say no. If you want to speak, just, you know, ganyan, ganyan, raise your hand. If you want to stand, let me know. Stand up. You can identify the desired behavior. So if you want the children to talk at the right time, you don't tell them that. No, don't talk. No, don't talk. You just say that um, you can talk in this, with, in this kind of condition. Mm -hmm. You can talk if... Or, At tapos sumatki sa bahay, pwede rin. Mas maganda din nga, ano, kasi para sa mga bata, para may respeto din yung mga nakakatanda sa, sa mga bata. Magandang yes. partner na point yan. Diba? Yes. So true. Correct. Oo, kasi okay. meron din mga teachers na kapag nagalit sa mga estudyate, talagang yeah. isang pinapahiya pa. Grabe, mm -hmm. di ba? Oo, yes, kawawa correct. naman. Okay, okay. so na pag usapan na natin ang uh, environment. Environment okay. and then... Pangalawa yung activity. activity. Actually, it's very important. Alam nyo, uh, Jenny and Ella, Tapos na yung din yung panahon na our lesson for today is diba, <laughs> diba, sabi, kaya, copy, our just copy today. on. So, totoo, may ganun pa naman. Sinasabi ko ba nun, naman yun? Kaya lang, yun syempre, na. there is what we call the activity-based mm -hmm. na pro, uh, educational programming kung saan nakapacilitate ng teacher creatively yung isang activity. If you would remember yung tungkol sa pineapple slice, mm -hmm. di ba na parang if we want to teach fractions, instead of just telling them, oh, this is two out of four, this is one out of three, we can actually demonstrate um, dividing something and then showing them that these are the different parts. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is very important kasi this captures the, the, ano eh, the imagination. This is very visual. And at the same time, even if you use music, napakaganda ng experience niya kasi it promotes re magandang retention niya sa memory ng kids. Uh -huh. So, if the activity is really crafted, kumbaga eh, the teacher is not lazy enough to, ano, to think of creative measures, then yes. it will promote a student-centered classroom. Which okay. you've discussed before, yung mga creative styles, no? even as parents. Yes. Madami ka rin na-describe. Correct. Natulo sa amin. Partner. Post, paano niyo pinopromote itong uh, student-centered Ah, okay. Uh, well, the student center classroom is actually, it's a part of studies nowadays, you know. Uh -huh. uh, when, when you do, when teachers do masters, uh, when, they, when they read, when they study, they get to learn na may ganito na palang mga thoughts. Kaya, napaka-importante, yun ang pangatlong factor, L. Napaka, natin, yeah. Yes, napaka-importante that the teacher is mentally and physically fit to manage and facilitate the learners inside. Yes. Kasi kung sabi nga nila the teacher can make or break a child totoo yes. yan kasi mm -hmm. we don't want to be we don't want to remember only the negative things that our teachers did, us, did, uh, did to us but of course those who made the big difference to our lives mm -hmm. isn't it mm -hmm. so pag ang teacher pumasok sa classroom mainit ng ulo uh, hindi <laughs> hindi nagprepare na sarili hindi na condition then it will really affect the ongoings inside the classroom uh -huh. so the teacher actually that's the most probably the most important uh, okay. factor of all. Yes. So, yun yun. Environment, activity, and... The teacher. The, the teacher. teacher. Okay. Now, Teacher Amos, um, anong-anong mga advantages naman kung, kung na makukuha if yung program na yan or method na yan ang ano yung mga yes. bata? Yes. Actually, ano, if we are going to, to uh, be technical about it, kasi teachers follow what we call their Bloom's Revised taxonomy of educational objectives. Huh? It means that <laughs> we do not promote yes, simple sure. or rote learning. Mm -hmm. We want to, to, to allow the child to think critically, to reach that level of deeper thinking, and that's called meaningful learning. So it's very important oh. that if the teacher is able to deepen uh, the, uh, the, the facilitation of the lesson or the content, ang ganda aabot, mama-maximize o so ma-optimize ng bata yung kanyang learning experience mm -hmm. na beyond lang yung, yung memorize lang ng memorize, hindi ba? Like, mm -hmm. uh, na hindi niya naman naiintindihan. Kaya nga may sinasabi tayo na, na ano, hindi ko naman gagamitin yung pagtanda ko, ba't ko okay. gagawin? But, you know, there are some na kapag naiintindihan mo kung bakit mo kailangan, you will be able to use it. You'll be, you won't be alienated from the topics or the content that is being um, taught inside the classroom. I okay, see. Okay, Amos. Ito ang pinakamalungkod sa lahat. We are running out of time. So, <laughs> so I'm sure yung mga viewers natin, marami pang katanungan dyan. So, saan ka nila po pwede makontact? Yes, um, for queries, you can, so we, if we can help you out with more information, you can email me at amosmanlangit at gmail.com. Yes. Just advice ng sa mga mommies and daddies, you know, it's important that you know what is happening inside the classroom. Uh, there should be collaboration. So, 
uh, teachers naman, you know, we have a commitment not just to teach but to raise the children. So let's promote a student-centered classroom. Yes. yes. That's so nice, partner. Gusto ko lang, if I may just add, no, si Teacher Amos, parang he also helps you meet mga special needs, even mm -hmm. at their, you know, not so young age, right? Mm -hmm. Special Yosh. adults. Spe special mm -hmm. adults. So they can contact him through his email. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. You much. Thank okay, you very much. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, Email me, amosmanlangit at gmail.com. Okay. Thank you so much, Teacher Amos. Okay, thank you very much. So nice thank to you have you. Thank you.